Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at Proposition 7.5.2, and it tells us that the bivariate formula for the expected value of a single random variable x is consistent with the univariate formula. So in the previous example, we had done the expected value of x, which was a jointly distributed random, continuous random variable. So let's look at that case. And we had said that that's x times f of xy dy dx. And we wanted to compare that with the univariate formula e of x, which is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times the density function just for x. So how do we know that these two things are equivalent? Well, let's take a look at this integral here. The inner integral is with respect to y. And so x is a constant. We can move that out. And so if we do, we've got the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x, y, dy, and then times dx. Now let's take a look here. This integral that I'm recopying in blue, well that is an integral that we've seen before. It's an integral of a density function. That's an integral of a, den of a joint density function with it towards a single variable or with respect to a single variable. That is a marginal. We're integrating out the y. That is exactly f sub x of x. And if we replace that inner integral by f sub x of x, then we indeed have the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times that dx, which is the same thing as the unit variate formula. It's exactly the same. In the next video, we'll go on to see some properties of the expected value, some of which you've probably seen before in your previous probability course, and one of which I am sure you haven't. And then we'll go and apply this to solve a couple problems.